Monday also uh, in, in Indiana. So uh, both got one day prep and we're ready to go. Do we over dramatize that sort of thing because we're all old? What, like the one day prep? So? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, we honestly, we prefer to have a couple more days, but we, we can't control the scheduling, so just got just to gotta play with it. It's a little bit easier now, though, that a couple months into the season when you guys had four one-day preps. Yeah, really it's definitely, that definitely prepared us uh, going forward when we had those, and uh, kind of what to expect with, with practice, how we're, how we're going to prepare for the game going forward, but yeah, and we actually have more coming up later in the year also. A couple more games, so it's definitely prepared us. Was a game like last night kind of amp you up to get back out there again, knowing how, how hard you guys fought and just another opportunity to go out and kind of duplicate that performance? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I thought we played a lot harder. Probably one of the hardest games we fought uh, throughout the year. I mean, say it's obviously a really good team, uh, but I think uh, we showed ourselves what we'll, we can be capable of. Got uh, clean up a few things, rebound a lot better, obviously, but uh, definitely are excited to get back out there on the court and go out there and get a W. Is there anything about this, uh, about your experience with the Hoosiers in the past that can help uh, for scouting purposes, considering new staff, new system, a lot of new players? Yeah, I mean, I uh, know some of the players, obviously, from what they've had in the past, but like I said, new system, uh, new coaching and everything. So I uh, learned a lot about them today. I haven't talked about them at all yet. Obviously, it was our game yesterday, but uh, just excited to learn about them. I uh, actually got here on the court today. Uh, just keep on moving forward. Is there a team that you prefer to play, like the rivalry type of thing? Uh, no. Nah, it doesn't really matter. It's just whoever's out there. You guys have shown some flashes of what that seven seconds or that's what it's going to be. What's been the process of actually getting to where you're playing at the, the pace that the coach has won more all the time? Yeah, I think that starts our defense. When we're up there denying. Uh, coach calls again on the line, basically not letting your man catch and making them drill more, not being able to run their stuff. That's some uh, turnovers happen. That's when we're able to go out there and push the floor. And, uh, that happened a lot yesterday. We had a ton of turnovers, five or something like that, I think. So uh, just being able to get them to turn the ball over, they get shots, they get rebound and go and push it. That's, that's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. So we want to get that as well. Coach talked about uh, fighting for the culture or in, instilling a new one. How do you feel like that process is going? What are some of the differences you're noticing between maybe the culture from last year, the year before, and this new year with new coach? Yeah, uh, that's something that we're, we're still trying to find right now. Uh, with us, obviously, our identity is something that uh, Coach has been challenging us with and trying to figure out what our identity is as a team. And, uh, we really got to pride ourselves on working hard, and uh, at the end of the day, we want to pride ourselves on winning games. And right now, we're not doing that, obviously, but we got to. I keep pushing forward, trust the process, trust the system, uh, just learn how to finish out games, and we're right there, man. And just gotta keep keep focusing on it. And, uh, don't get discouraged. Uh, I think we're playing so hard right now, and uh, easily could be a different way right now, but we can't control that. So uh, just trusting in everything coaches are saying. Uh, like I said, not get discouraged, and the culture will come with it. I've heard some commentators say Illinois is the best winless team in the nation. How do you react to that? <laughs> uh, I prefer not to be in that conversation, obviously, uh, with the winless team, but I guess you take it as a compliment. Uh, I think all these teams in the Big Ten do fear us when they play us. Uh, they know how hard we're going to play. They know what they're going to get from us. And, uh, I mean, we got to go out there and play better, uh, both offensively and defensively, 40 minutes and learn how to finish out games. But I think we do play hard, and teams realize that. Have you like, pushed the pace? Have you seen the quality of looks change just because the defense is having catch up on the line? Like for me, yeah, just for the team. Yeah, I think uh, it just depends on who we're playing and where it's going. But uh, teams are scouting us; they all know what we're capable of. They know what we're going to do defensively too. So, uh, depending on who we're playing and how they're playing, it's going to change. Okay, thank you, Michael. Thanks, Mike.